We're less than 24 hours away from the Community Foundation of Sarasota's 2016 Giving Challenge. SNN's Lyndon Blake explains how you can give to your favorite nonprofits on the Sun Coast. 24 hours of giving each year has raised more than $15 million for nonprofits on the Sun Coast. It only takes a few clicks on the website givingpartnerchallenge.org to make a difference in the 2016 Giving Challenge. You can go on there, see participating nonprofits on a leaderboard, or they can even search for their favorite nonprofits. They'll click on that and there'll be a donation form on the page where they can make their gift. It starts Tuesday at noon and goes to Wednesday at noon. Community Foundation of Sarasota's Murray Devine says this year, the Patterson Foundation is matching each gift up to $100 and doubling the match for donors who give to a nonprofit for the first time. So if you give $100, the organization gets matched an additional $200, so the gift is $300. Blaze of Hope is one of the nonprofits in this year's Giving Challenge. This organization provides financial assistance to families of children with life threatening illnesses. Founder Lisa Moore says the money from the Giving Challenge provides families $500 grants. And I saw families struggling to make ends meet, to pay their bills, take care of their other children that they have at home. The Giving Challenge is also a way for nonprofits to partner up. Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium joined forces with the Cat Depot for this year's challenge. The money they raise will go toward helping injured animals. So with the hospital part of our mission, we're ready to support any kind of uh, rescue care that's necessary, rehabilitation care. 33,000 donors accepted the challenge in 2015, but this year, the Community Foundation is expecting more. Devine says they've added 100 new organizations to the challenge. Really, the aim of this is to, you know, celebrate our community and get them involved in philanthropy. Reporting in Sarasota County, Lyndon Blake, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And visit our website, snntv.com, for a full list of the nonprofits taking on this year's challenge.